Hey YouTube, it's Arcade Machine 15 here. I just thought I'd make a quick video showing off this 2005 Xbox 360 I have here. Now, I seen this on eBay about, I want to say, a month ago. And it was only $5 plus shipping, so I was thinking, you know, this thing looks pretty minty for a console that was made in, you know, 05. You know, this is like a release date Xbox 360. And I'm a person that collects old consoles and consoles that I feel are kind of rare. And, you know, a 2005 mint condition Xbox 360, to me, is rare. So, I jumped on it, of course, and I got it. It said it had the Red Ring of Death, which was pretty much expected, considering the age of this system. But I'll get into that a bit later, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what the unit does. So, I uh, obviously bought it, and, um, you know, it's minty. It looks nice. It looks like it's not even a year old. I'm, like, seriously, this thing is... It's still really white, you know, no marks on it, um, move this here, the trim looks brand new on the, the hard drive, when they had the older hard drives, uh, when the Xbox 360 first was released, they had a metal, um, or a, like a plastic reflective trim around it, to make it look cooler, I guess, and, you know, it definitely did that, um, and yeah, the front of the, uh, disk drive is the same way. Uh, minty and also lay it up here top of it is also let's see if I can focus this it looks like it looks just like brand new the thing it looks like it's just you know like been opened out of the the package basically and it's you know from 2005 it's incredible um, so yeah let's look on the other side like mint and then flip it over. Mint, you know? And it's never been opened before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hold on, I don't, I don't want to wreck this, because usually when you take these face plates off, they have a tendency of, you know, being wrecked. Here's the front of it. Most people don't even know why I just took the front of it off, probably, but, uh... I just did that to show the sticker. That's the warranty sticker that shows when someone has opened it before. It'll have a you know, a little tear in the center of it. This thing's never been opened before, and I'm gonna keep it that way. It's completely original, clean, no dust. Like, this thing is remarkable. Let me put this back on. It's remarkable how well kept this thing is. And now, for the back of it here. No dust. You usually see dust in uh, the power plug spot and the AV spot. And especially the, uh, you know, internet and USB there. Uh, those are usually pretty crammed with dust. But, you know, this is, you know, completely clean. And um, now to the even more remarkable part here. The date. Now, my S6 really does not like focusing. It's, there we go. It focused quite well. And you can see the date. 2005, 12th month, 8th day. So, I'd say it's about from the second release of the Xbox, Xbox 360, because there was two releases. You know, there was the first one, I believe, that which was on November 22nd, 2005, and there was a second one um, afterwards, which I think was in January. So, this is basically a release model Xbox 360, 2005. I've never once seen one from 2005 at all. And this is incredible. It's not been refurbished, um, you know, not been sent to Microsoft before. It was purchased in 2005, you know, January 8th, and it still works perfectly today, which I'm going to show you. Now, despite what the auction said, let me put this down here. Despite what the auction said, um, it did work. It, there's a catch to that, though. Uh, let me plug it in here. Hold up. Plug that in. And plug the AV in. If it will go in. Yeah, so there's a catch to that. Um, well, I don't know what the deal is here exactly, but when I first got it and took it out of the box, um, I think what happened to this thing was it just... Uh, it was brand new, and then it got played a couple times, and it was never touched again. 
Um, that's what I feel is, has happened to this thing. Because it's obviously never really been used that much. And, you know, it's super clean. And, um, yeah, when I, turned, when I turned it on for the first time, it did give me the red ring of death. Um, the power brick had a red light flash for a second. But the strange thing is, um, yeah, it would turn on for a second and then turn off. But the more that I kept on trying to turn it on, uh, the longer it would stay on. So eventually I got to the point where it would turn on and like show the Xbox 360 logo and you know the end of it, then it would turn off and then it would get to the dashboard, then turn off. And then eventually it just didn't turn off anymore and the thing's been working fine ever since. So I think that one of the components, you know, usually a capacitor that haven't been used for a very long period of time, um, go bad and in some cases dry up inside and heat usually makes them work as they did, you know, before whatever happened to them, like before they dried out or before they haven't been used for a long time, the being uh, warmed up usually regenerates them in a way. And when I kept this thing plugged in, um, it does get a bit warm a tiny bit. So, I mean, I guess that kind of helped it out. And uh, over time, and I guess with me trying to power it on, it just eventually uh, gave in and uh, the components started working the way they should. Because now, uh, this is the same Xbox never been opened before from 2005 January 8th and it's gonna work and it this works remarkably quick this is a xenon motherboard inside this thing a release xenon motherboard and this is the fastest booting console I have at the moment it's remarkable how quick this thing turns on let me demonstrate it Now that's pretty quick. And there we go. Open this up. Has a semi disk drive, you can tell because it has the little slit there. And the light on ones are the ones that um, are like this. And have um, no slit in them at all. And then there's the Hitachi one, which I can't show you at the moment, which has little holes on the tray everywhere. This is the very first disk drive that was ever released, obviously, with the 360, though. So, yeah, let's close that up. Yeah, so this thing, it's in remarkable condition from 2005, and it works flawlessly. I don't know what that hiccup was the first time that I tried powering it on, you know, getting the red ring of death, and then, you know, having it heat up, and then it worked fine. But it wasn't the GPU, though, I know that, because it was definitely a short, because the, the power brick had a red light on it, so it had to have been a capacitor or something that just dried up inside. But I'm not going to open it, I mean it's working fine, it's, you know, it doesn't have any problem with the solder balls under the GPU, which is the problem that causes the red ring of death. So this is a pretty good collector's item in my opinion. Um, let me find a controller and try pairing it up here real quick. Now you might have seen already, but um, it isn't on the first dashboard, which isn't a problem, because I've already gotten a couple that are on the first dashboard. Uh, and I'm not going to power this on that much anyways, because I don't want to ruin the life of it. You know, usually these old consoles are pretty prone to red ring of death, and I don't want to overuse it or, you know, play it, um, or anything like that to uh, jeopardize it. So yeah, it's working fine. And it's from 2005, January 8th. Now, I don't think it's ever been used on Xbox Live before because, um, let me sign out of this stupid account. See, it doesn't say Xbox Live on any of the accounts, focus. It doesn't say Xbox Live under their names. So I think this might have actually been, uh, used very little. And, um, yeah, very little from, uh, 2005 up until, you know, maybe late 2008. And it's never been on Xbox Live. The only reason why it has this newer dashboard is because stupid Microsoft, they um, force people into the uh, updates because they have it installed on disks that were made at the time of the dashboard. So if you get um, a disk from 2009, it'll automatically have the, the install to the new NXE, um, the new Xbox experience, which is this. 
So they install the updates to the discs so that people that don't have Xbox Live automatically have to download into the system in order to play the game. So yeah, it's working fine. And it's quite remarkable actually. And I don't know uh, what the hiccup was, like I say at the beginning there when I first tried using it. But I mean, I'm thinking it's capacitors and if that's the case, I mean, I don't really care that much. I mean, it's 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 remarkable that it's still working regardless, you know. Um, and I'm just gonna try keeping it that way. I'm gonna try just using it every once in a while and you know testing it out. And I just don't want to open it up and fix those capacitors because it's never been opened before. It's like a piece of history, you know. Nobody really has a 2005 Xbox 360 that still works today. So I consider myself lucky. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to make for this video here. Uh, please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll try to make some more iPhone videos. I, um, I'm trying to fix an iPhone 6 at the moment, and i gotten pretty close to, to fixing it, I thought, because I ordered a, a mint iPhone 6 that was wire damaged off of eBay, but then I realized that it was uh, messed with before, and it might not be usable for parts, but I'll try to make some update videos with that um, in the future, like, you know, maybe in like a week or so. And, um, yeah, that's it for now, so thanks for watching, and, you know, See you later.